Brilliant, just absolutely brilliant. Um, so far removed from any style I've studied so far, folk, freestyle, Greco, judo, jiu-jitsu, Japanese or Brazilian. Um, it seems that everything you guys do involves pain. You enter with pain. You uh, control, uh, use control positions with pain. You submit with pain. Uh, everything is pain. Even right now, uh, I am in a state of body and mind far beyond Motrin and uh, <laughs> narcotics. Um, but uh, I, I loved every uh, moment of it. It's Wonderful. very invaluable. It uh, gives me a new way of looking on the, uh, at the uh, Savat Dance de Rue that I already practice. It's incredible. I really enjoyed myself. I learned a ton of new things. Catch Catch Can is a really full system, and, and working with a master like uh, Billy Robinson here, it's it's really incredible. I, I feel really a uh, uh, privilege to have been part of this program. Uh, I loved it. I think it's phenomenal. Um, I feel that the art, it's so simplistic. It makes me think that many of the other arts just deviated away from simplicity and, you know, made things complicated along the way. And, you know, catch as catch can just, you know, it, it just gives you the move right there. I mean, it's, it's simple. It's, it, it's effective. It's painful. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's a great art. I definitely highly recommend it, recommend it for everyone. You know, it, it, especially if you just want to continue with MMA or grappling or whatever it is, you know, catch as catch can is definitely a great beginning for, for it all. The problem is it was too short, the two days were not long enough because there's so much to be shown and everybody reacts differently. The reflex system is different. Uh, people are loose uh, limbed or some people are stiff. Some people are very strong or some people are very fast. And you've got to learn how to make any move or any position work with anybody. And the only way to do that is to learn your body position, how to get power from the alignment of knees, hips, shoulders, ankles, toes and heels so that you can get the most power and speed from your own body to be able to achieve a situation where you can do anything with anybody. And catch a catch can wrestling is the number one martial arts sport in the world, bar none, and it is physical chess. Unfortunately now, uh, with the mixed martial arts, they've cut the pinfalls out, which to me is terrible because a lot of the submissions that we've learned the last two days can be got a lot easier from somebody trying to defend himself from being pinned. Because as he turns or tries to escape from a pin, he'll leave an ankle or a loose arm or head for a crooked head scissors or many, many things. So now you've got to do the things, but you've got to do them from a, a different position, you know. But it is the greatest sport in the world, and it keeps me young. <laughs> and the thing is, like the old timers, all probably world champions or champions of some kind that have retired, and there was no distraction in those days. There was no internet, computers, telephones, uh, clubs to go out with or like the social life, nobody had any money. So all the youth of all the countries like were full of fire, feminine fire, and they wanted to do something so they join a soccer or rugby club 
or judo, jiu-jitsu, boxing, and the toughest of all, uh, catch as catch can, wrestling, submission wrestling. And you had many, many uh, sparring partners because there was just hundreds of guys around in every town. But the old timers used to come down to the gym because of the atmosphere and then see you do something wrong. And after your training session, they'd pull you to one side, explain to you, show you, get you back on the mat with a different sparring partner and make you do it. And the thing was, I used to wake up with a head up screaming because I'd hear this voice in my, Billy Riley's voice, my coach and Carl Gotch's coach, screaming at me, do it again, do it again. And I'd wake up like with ringing in my ears, do it again, do it again. And I'd look right there. <laughs> Oh God, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, wrestling has been the greatest life I can figure of, that I could have had and it's been very, very good for me. And I want to be like the old timers and give my knowledge back so the sport keeps on going. The thing is, with catch as catch can wrestling, the major thing is to learn how to learn. Once you get that, once your coach, like Jake or myself or some other old timer, has got into your mind how you can learn, you never stop learning. I'm learning now. Because with this mixed martial arts, there are different situations, so I see it. And then it doesn't take long to figure out how to counter it or beat it. But I'm learning it because I never came across that situation. But now I see it because I've learned how to learn. I, I have no problem with it or teaching somebody how to beat it. When I was when I was champion, Billy Riley never said any good word. I became British champion, European champion, British Empire champion, then the world champion. And I went back to England. I said to Mr. Riley, because I never called him Billy in my life, you know, always had the respect. And I said, Mr. Riley, I said, why was it you never once said to me, Billy, that was great, oh, that was good, son. He said, no, he said, uh, I'm here to teach you what you're doing wrong. I can teach you the moves. What you're doing right, you don't need help with. What you're doing wrong, then I'm gonna tell you about it and adjust it so you do it right. But the problem with the youth of today is, he was talking about me being 18, 19, 20, and he's the old man like I am now. He was saying, the problem with the youth today, meaning he's the old man and I'm the youth, is that once they start to think they're good, once they start to think they are the best, they stop learning. And I tried to keep it a situation where you never wanted to stop learning. So that's my answer, it's just great. It just, once you learn how to learn, learn, it just mushrooms out.